Hello and welcome to our weekly financial modeling tips from the Startup Station. This week, we're going to discuss how to model a different marketing strategy, which is based on the number of followers as opposed to a budget. And it's the influencers marketing strategy. So let's learn how to model an influencers marketing strategy. As always, we need a scenario description and assumptions. So what we want to determine here is the expected number of customers from the strategy, right? So what we need to input in order to do that is the number of influencers. And here we can do it by month uh, because we can input it directly. If we have 60 months, we're building a five-year forecast. We will have to do it for every of those 60 months. Alternatively, we can do it for just one month, the first one, and assume a certain growth rate. We also need to consider the cost per influencer, right? So what we're going to pay to those people to post about our products. And here we need to consider our marketing budget for this channel so that we don't run out of money. For every influencer, we need to know how many followers he or she has. Finally, we need to determine the conversion rate. Right, and so this conversion rate is applied to the total number of followers that you reach each month to produce a certain result, whether it's a number of free trials for your service, whether it's number of customers for your website, or the number of visitors, whatever it is that you're trying to get from this channel as a final objective. And this conversion rate will be determined either based on the industry norm, or uh, it can be based on your data. Right. So either of the two, of course, if you have data, that's the best. If you don't have the data, the industry norm uh, for this channel is quite OK as well. OK, so now let's get into the nitty gritty of how we're going to model these influencers. So here we have our year end target. You may have it. You may not have it. It's really up to you. Uh, you have a monthly cost per influencer. Um, this is would be done from your research. The average number of followers per influencer is 250,000. Um, this is uh, quite large, actually. So uh, this really depends on your access. And the conversion rate to um, app users is 10%. Again, this conversion rate could be high. This is really used as an example. And you would want to do some industry research to understand what is the reasonable conversion rate to expect in your case. What I want to go through is the math here. So we're modeling a simple scenario where I'm, I'm uh, providing the number of influencers for each month directly as an assumption here. You see it's in blue. Just a reminder from the past videos, all the assumptions are in financial modeling um, set in blue, right? So then the total number of followers is going to be the number of followers per influencer times the number of influencers. And then to calculate the uh, number of new app users, uh, you need to apply the floor function to be more conservative and multiply the total number of followers times the conversion rate. The final step that we need to do to make sure that we have enough money to afford our marketing strategy is to calculate the marketing budget. And this will be the cost per influencer times the number of influencers each month. And you see that with this strategy for this month, we are spending 54,000. What I did not do here this time is to calculate the revenues because we have not yet discussed how um, this startup is getting monetized, right? So it could be monetized in any number of structures. What's important here is that from this strategy, we're expecting a certain number of uh, app users. Now, the same modeling technique could be used to model an event strategy where you have the number of events instead of the number of influencers or podcasts or uh, blogs with a number of readers, et cetera. Anytime you have a discrete event with um, a certain community that you can reach, you can model it using this strategy. And there you have it. Please comment below if you have any questions, share the video with your community and with your friends and subscribe to the Startup Station's YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, please sign up for our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Early Stage Venture. The link is in the description. So thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.